Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Now that we're getting into what we would officially call termite season, you're gonna start seeing more active swarmers, especially as it starts warming back up uh, with all this moisture we've been getting. Uh, if, you're, if you're trying to get some quotes and you're trying to get some numbers, you need to really understand the type of treatment you're gonna get. Not that one's right, not that one's wrong, but I wanna explain the difference and why we feel like uh, uh, some might be superior to others. So typically you're going to get one of two options. You're gonna get a liquid treatment or you're gonna get the bait station option. Um, and that, those are the two predominant ones. And like I said, both, neither one of them is right, neither one of them is wrong. We just feel like one's better than the other. We choose to go with the bait station route. And the reason that we do this is, is that uh, when these bait stations are placed all the way around your house, uh, they actually have an attractant in it and the material that's in it has been scientifically designed to be the most favorable uh, through experiments to what the termites want. So the theory is, is that the termites are gonna want to be drawn to this versus your house, okay? Once they start feeding on the bait station, there's also product inside of them that uh, is gonna kill the termites. And, and what they're gonna do, and the way termites work is, is that these worker termites, they go out to the food source, they eat a bunch of the food, and they bring it back to the colony and then they share that food with everybody else in the colony. Well when they feed on a bait station, the bait station's got a uh, product in it that's going to kill the termites. It, it's, a, it's a growth regulator and it, and, it, and it prevents them from shedding their skin because they're a very clean animal and when they, uh, when they share this food with all the other termites in the colony, they're going to also ingest it and before long you're going to get a, a collapse of the total colony. So you're going to be able to eliminate the total colony. So not only that, you also can see that there's actual product there and you and you can see the work has been done. You know that there's something there. When you come and inspect the termite uh, stations uh, a couple times a year, you're able to look at them and, and visually inspect whether or not termites have been in the area. If there's been a breakdown of the product, you can just switch the product out for whatever reason the breakdown happens, be it rain, be it too many termites eating on it. You're able to get that addressed and get it fixed. If you go the liquid route, the way liquids work, liquids just put up a barrier around your house. And as the termites cross that barrier, going to the food source, which is gonna be the wood in your house, they pick up the product, and then the product is just gonna kill that individual worker. So there's, a, there's the main difference why we feel like the bait stations are a better choice, is because the, the, the bait stations are gonna cause a collapse of the total colony, because the bait is gonna be carried back to the colony. Whereas with a liquid, you're just killing the individual workers. So anyway, that's the number one main big reason. Um, when you have the liquid, like we said also, uh, if you get a breakdown in the product, you don't, you're not able to visually see that. Whereas with the bait stations, you're able to see when you're having problems and you're able to address those problems then. So anyway, I hope that helps. Um, if you've got any questions, need any recommendations, need any suggestions, feel free to let us know. We look forward to hearing from you. Y'all have a good day.